Hey my loves, here I am with another makeup tutorial and I have to say I absolutely love all matte makeup looks so I decided to do this for you all. I hope you enjoy it, click like if you do and let's begin. For this tutorial I will be using tape. I will be applying it to the outer corner of my eye to create a really sharp edge. Now make sure that you apply your tape before you apply your primer otherwise the tape won't stick. Go ahead and take your time and make sure that both eyes are even. Once the tape is in place, I will be applying my primer. I'm using Lorex primer and I'm going to apply a generous amount right on my lid space. Take it all the way to the eyebrow even if you don't apply eyeshadow there. And then just a little bit right under the eyes. Then I will be taking a dark plum eyeshadow using my MAC 217. I will be applying this right on the outer corner of the eye, working my way towards the center, just being a little bit more light handed as I head to the middle, just because you don't want to create a harsh effect that will be harder to blend out down the road. So I'm mainly focusing on darkening the outer corner and I am extending it quite a bit towards the eyebrow, but if you want to make a more a natural look, you can go ahead and take it down a notch. But I am applying quite a bit of this eyeshadow. Then I'm going to be taking my MAC Copper Plate. I love this color even for an everyday look. And I'm going to overlap these colors and blend them out. This will create a really nice transition between the two colors and a very well blended look. Don't really focus on the inner one third of your lid because we'll be applying another eyeshadow there. I will be following the shape of my eyebrow and I am extending it quite a bit. But you can go ahead and like I said just focus on the crease area and make it a little bit more like an everyday look. So as you can see, I am just blending these colors together and we, I, I always add more later on. So it's not like, you know, if I take some of the dark um, on the other corners, I always go back and add some more. As you can see here, I am taking the darker plum color again and then patting it so that it becomes really dark on the outer corner. Then I'll go back with my copper plate and overlap that as well. And it just goes back and forth. For me, blending is very important. So I like to add and keep adding and then taking away and then adding. And that's how I make my blended look so flawless. So take your time. It takes patience. Then I'll be taking this color blank type from MAC as well. I love this for highlighting and pretty much everything because it's so highly pigmented you get your money's worth. I'll be using this and applying it right on the inner one third of my eyes and as you can see it really brightened out this area. It's just so beautiful. So go ahead and take your time packing it on and then blending it. Just be really careful with this eyeshadow because like I said it's very highly pigmented. So blend it out right where the colors meet and create a gradient effect. I will also be using this as my highlight. I also use this time to actually blend any harsh lines that I could have created. Now I removed my tape and as you can see the line isn't very straight. This can happen and it's fine. You can actually just take a little bit of concealer and a flat brush and clean it up. Then I also go back with my dark plum color and touch up. And using the same eyeshadow I'll be taking it down to the lower half. You can make this as dramatic or as subtle as you like. Then using copper plate with my MAC 219, I will be making this a little more blended and a little more smoky at the same time. It adds a lot of depth and makes my eyes appear a lot bigger. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm using Lorac's Liquid Eyeliner. And I'll be a little bit dramatic with this following the line that I created with my eyeshadow just so that everything flows well together. Go ahead and take your time and make it as dramatic or as subtle as you like. I'm going for dramatic because it gives it that wow factor. Go ahead and take your time. Make sure that you um, get in between your lashes so that when you apply your false lashes, you don't see any skin because that always looks weird. Make sure that you extend it on the inner part of the eye so that you make your eyes appear longer as well. Using my Urban Decay Liner in Desperation, I'll be applying this to my waterline and getting in between those lashes like I mentioned earlier. Now it's time for lashes. I'm using my lashes in number 138. You can probably find these on eBay. They're just the perfect amount of dramatic and I can still wear them throughout the day. For my mascara, I will be using my MAC Opal Lash. I love this for my lower lashes since they're so long. This is the perfect mascara for the job. Now it's time for lips. I'm using a neutral color to line my lips. 
and then I'll be using my lipstick this is called Sola look and I love this lipstick the name of it is Isabel this is the final look I hope that you all liked it as much as I did I got tons of compliments on this makeup look and let me know down below if you guys want to see some more nail acrylic tutorials so I'll see you guys really soon if you have the time go by and check out my family vlogs take care everyone